Hey everyone, Valtronis here. I got a new bike. I got a Yamaha FZ6R 2013 blue. Uh, brand new. Traded in my old bike. The dealership pretty much just paid off my loan, so it was just my other loan. So it was just like getting a new bike. Um, it's freaking awesome. I love it. First quad rocket. I was going to go for the Ninja 300, but I was talked out of it because I didn't want to get sick of it within two months. Um, I already started peeling off the sticker and seeing it annoys the crap out of me, but it takes forever. I give up easy. So, um, I'll show you what it's like when you turn it on. So, yeah, keys up here rather than my old bike where it was on the side with my V-Star. <laughs> That's the sound of it running. Exhaust is right. Yeah, it's fucking loud. Um, freaking. Uh, I was gonna get the Ninja 650 after research and after not deciding to get the 300 and then I was doing more research and I said hey why not stick to you know Yamaha brand and it was about the same price as the 650 and it's four cylinders instead of two you do lose 50 cc's but it's pretty much on par um it's an awesome bike I took it around very because you know first crotch I could I'm not I had to get used to the foot settings and stuff um one thing that I did notice was the clutch, the stock clutch, which I am gonna have to change the handlebars, I mean the, uh, the levers, because I don't like these ones. I think I'm gonna get some better ones, but it was really, it's really stiff and like the friction zone is like practically down here. And you know, so I adjusted this all the way down so that way it's as close as possible. Made it very easy so I, my hand because uh, my first few rides, my hands were getting so sore. It was ridiculous. Only complaint about it is that this right there is white. Um, I feel like if it was black, it would better match the bike. I mean, I get that it's supposed to coincide with these, you know, the detailing, the stickers or whatever. But uh, uh, I am pretty much in love with this bike. I'm so happy to be on a crotch rocket now. Uh, yeah, I will do a detailed one once I hit probably 500 and then once I hit a thousand, I'll put up more reviews. I'm going to be able to start doing better moto vlogs too, because my last one, if I put the camera right here, like you see a lot of moto vloggers, so that way your view is like this and you can see where I'm going and my miles per hour and I can talk to you guys at the same time. Um, I couldn't do that on my last one. The tank was too low compared to the speedometer and it wouldn't have worked out. And this one I'm gonna be able to. I do have a suction cup mount. So look forward to those vlogs coming in the future. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll show you, I'll show you the lights too because I was riding super, when I was riding super late at night, I was on a very dark road and I decided to flip on the high beams. And my god, they're better. I have to turn on the bike. Alright, low beams. High beams. You don't notice the difference in light to start, but it seriously lit up the entire road. Um, I'll tell you that much. It, it's useful. And I, the first day, I took it out on the freeway at 1 a.m. And... Since there was no one on it, I gunned it. I was in fifth gear. I didn't even get to sixth, and I still got up to 110. And that was some scary stuff, considering my old bike had a max speed of 90 on the speedometer. So, this is exciting. I look forward to many vlogs in the upcoming future. All right, guys, I have summer off of school. I don't start my third semester of college until like August 28th or something like that. So, and I'm going to have a lot of free time. It's just work and then that's it.
so I'll be able to deliver to you guys. I'm sorry about the gap in videos, but uh, yep, here to deliver now. FC six R. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Ask any questions you want. I will do my best to answer them. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys. About trying us out.